hello. Um, uh, I, I'm not talking about uh, taxonomies this time, or maybe uh, you will find it. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, it's not. Uh, um, uh, soon after I started uh, working uh, on uh, open food facts, I got the idea of uh, using uh, the APIs to make my, my own app. Uh, it's, it's, it's a personal uh, app uh, which I use to, uh, for, to, for learning Swift, uh, for having uh, experience with developing. And the app is available on the App Store and the code is available on uh, GitHub. It has a strange uh, logo. You see uh, the carrot. I was first, remember, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> no, no. So I, I like I like to uh, show you some aspects uh, of the of the app without going into too much detail. Uh, the main the main thing is a, a scan screen uh, where you get a summary of the product after you scanned. This uh, screen has also the possibility to switch to open beauty facts, to open pet food facts, and open product facts. So you, you can enter and edit any uh, open X facts if you want. Uh, I, next uh, step is, uh, oh, let's, let's go back. Oh, no, I'm not going to scan. I'm not going too much in detail. Okay. Where, where you see uh, a list of, uh, uh, but uh, you did well because it's the, the top one. <laughs> uh, you see you see have a list uh, of products that uh, I have scanned. Um, there's a color background which notifies you if you are allergic to something. Uh, in this case, I set it up for milk, but you can do anything. Um, if I click on one of the things, let's, uh, I need my glasses. If you click on one of the things, let's take a little bit of uh, leather cocoa, some mushroom. You get the information on the left, a sort of summary of what it is, uh, Nuti score, uh, Eco score. I had, I had, uh, I think I had the uh, EcoScore implemented before uh, uh, Open Food Facts launched. So, um. <laughs> and and you see uh, uh, vegan halal uh, things. Uh, there are uh, x I don't remember how many something like twenty different uh, diets defined, and it warns you against or in favor of a diet. So. Well, let's uh, uh, next. You see uh, on the other side. You, s you see uh, some information. Well, you remember it. It's, uh, it's all the, the tags are the green thingies. The green things can also turn blue. You tap on it, and you can answer the corresponding Robotov question. Uh, on the right, you see those uh, swirly things that allows you to switch. Uh, let's do on coconut milk. So you get the French version. Notice, notice here that you get also the information on the bottom that has been provided by the producer. Uh, let's switch another one. And we get the Dutch version. Shall I? And at the bottom you get uh, uh, the image. Uh, left from the image there's a, a green button. Uh, click on the image. It loads, if I, I hope. I lost the network connection. Well, I lost the network connection, so bad luck. But anyway, there you see, uh, uh, would see uh, when the picture was taken, by whom, and uh, the green thing means that it is a recent picture, which allows you to say, ah, oh, this this uh, this product has doesn't have recent picture. It gets uh, turns to purple at some after some time, and so you can can add newer pictures, which also allows you to check. Uh, uh, to see if you need to check things. Uh, let's not stay too much here. Same thing for uh, the next page. Uh, there's an extra swirly thing has been added above. If I click on it, uh, there's one is uh, the language switch, and the other below uh, oh, it's, it allows you to uh, switch between all the variants that are published. Uh, I have to. Uh, if you look at the labels, uh, 
you see the translated versions, you can see it for different languages, etc. Any information that's available in the API, you can check. It, uh, let's, uh, let's not stick here. Uh, I added a kilogram for, uh, in the case you want to uh, add information on uh, water bottles, because there it's always uh, mentioned per liter and not, uh, and not per 100 milliliter. Footprints, information, to do Pansier 3, ah, uh, to do let's go back to French. Well, no, it doesn't matter, it's important. Uh, basic uh, supply chain information, uh, above, if I said I want to edit it, uh, there's the, the heart, which allows you to add uh, the, your favorite shops uh, in the mean quickly. Categories, the thing I showed here, I want to integrate that somewhere here. Uh, if you add, you have to plus, uh, sign, and oh, here we get to the text. This is the whole taxonomy thing which you can search through. Uh, all the images that have been taken for this picture. You see here the reason why I added, uh, why I added this, this uh, product is here in the first place, because there were red images and some purple images. There was really old information. And you see all the information, all you get, uh, I won't scroll more down because the, it, if there are too many images, the app will crash. So, uh, but you see, uh, up to 20, everything is okay, or even more. So you see, any image uh, um, that has been taken of this uh, product, and this, by the way, this is a hidden API. I had to re-engineer it from uh, uh, what has been published in the normal API, so it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, detailed information on how uh, the things are calculated. Uh, for the Nutri-Score, uh, See if the beverages, cheeses, uh, levels, uh, oh, and there should be Nova, uh, the Nova as well. Why, why has it been classified for a certain Nova? Uh, why, uh, uh, well, the, the fat levels saturated, the sugar, you see. Uh, let's go for, and this is uh, the diet uh, things. You see I have, all, I have quite a lot of diets. It's very positive uh, vegan, it's get uh, uh, one, and it's complied because there is a vegan claim by the manufacturer and that is a certified European Vegetarian Union label on the product. So we can classify this as very well defined for the vegan and it goes to the other side as well. Uh, and the others that are all zero, uh, there's no information about that one. And the next thing I want to add is here is a sort of a bring your own diet so you can yourself define uh, uh, what you want and don't want. Finally, uh, what's the state uh, of the project? Uh, there are still some photos that need to be, of the, the whole thing needs to be checked by somebody else. I could do that myself, but uh, on the, I need to do the website. You see all the people that edited this, uh, this product, and it was created in 2012, so it was one of the first products, I guess. Hmm. I should have found the uh, product of this day, yes. Yeah, so that was added uh, 10 years ago. Oh, okay. Okay. And finally, um, for the defense, this is the entire JSON uh, which I got. Okay, um, I won't, won't, don't want to make it too long. I defined uh, something for search. Uh, the uh, Open Food Facts has, in fact, now two search APIs. One is more uh, general and one is more taxonomy based. Go back uh, to this one. Uh, oh, no. I don't know if it works. Oh, I, I don't want to save this discord. We miss. Uh, I can do a long uh, press on Lea Nature in this case, and it starts a search uh, for me. It doesn't work now because I lost my network connection. So I can't. S so you can uh, save your searches, and the well, the, uh, the entire API has been uh, is supported. I can't search this one as uh, either. This corresponds to a. It's a Hunger Game in mini mini Hunger Game. 
So you can do a starter game. I, sh I should. Uh, But anyway, it's uh, it's the uh, it's. You're going to have to buy iPhones to play. No, you have to find the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> it's iPad only. Yeah. It works a little bit uh, on uh, uh, on iPhone, but there are no guarantees. So. so you can start a game and you get the image and you say yes, no, yes, no, uh, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. That's. I think that's. I leave it at that. Otherwise, uh, there are many more details. Uh, I I tried uh, to exploit the APIs as much as I could for editing purposes. Uh, uh, you noticed it was uh, uh, mul multiple languages, multi-language, so that also implies that you can add languages, uh, change the main languages, uh, etc. And the intention is to add IP, uh, more APIs as they are published by uh, Open Food Facts. Okay. So I, if I understand well, this is an app that you built uh, just for your own purpose? Do uh, I built it for my own fun learning experience. Uh, however, anybody can use it because I published it on the App Store. Okay, yeah. And do you have plan to... Uh, but you're not allowed to complain. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you have plan to maybe uh, uh, spread it to the community or maybe team up with Anger game to mutualize your. Uh, uh, no. No. Okay. I I I don't do any marketing. So uh, if if you want it, you can use it. If you have very specific needs uh, and uh, it's it's interesting for me to implement, uh, I like to do that. But. Okay. I don't that's want to code. go uh, commercial or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. What's the name of the app? Food viewer. Food viewer. Food viewer. Uh, probably I, I, I'm, I'm th I have in my head some spin-offs, so you might, f I, I think, uh, well, let's, uh, I thi I'm thinking about a food detect for, uh, uh, for the iPhone specifically, where, which is uh, as simple as possible, um, where you have only one screen, uh, you tap on, a, tap on it and it starts uh, scanning. It gets the results uh, with Nutri score, Echo score, and whatever, and a flashing sign if it uh, doesn't fit your uh, uh, diet. And you tap on it again and you continue scanning. So no explanation, nothing, just your, th your three seconds decision. Did you use like uh, custom SDK to access the API of, uh, did you write it or did you use like the one that we have on the repo for uh, Zwift? Uh, I wrote it because I was a bit earlier. Okay, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, if that's the case, I was thinking about like, uh, since we also have to design some other SDKs, it is in the plans, uh, if you could like write or also like in an informal way, we, which were like the, the critical point missing in the documentation or things like that? Um, I think uh, we repaired those in the meantime already because uh, we're talking about things I did uh, six years ago. The last two years I didn't touch it because uh, my Mac couldn't uh, stand uh, Xcode anymore. So I'm only restarting now. Okay, thank you. But, uh, but maybe uh, there, uh, so I don't know how, uh, how much more uh, information has been added to the API, which I may or may not integrate still, so. But there's still enough to do. <laughs> okay, thank you. Switch on. Just uh, would like to know more about your background and how, because I know you also uh, try... How far do you want to go back? <laughs> <laughs> um, because you also translate, right? On the website. 
Yeah, but that's easy because that's I only translate in my mother language. So. Yeah, but you do a lot of translating as well. So it's like you seem to be doing a lot of different things. So it's true, just to true. understand what do you actually do in your what what is <laughs> your background? Oh, okay. We uh, well, a small summary then. <laughs> I'm uh, I uh, well I'm I'm Dutch for those who didn't uh, get that already. Uh, born in the Netherlands, uh, I studied astronomy. I have an astron astrophysics degree. I worked in astronomy a while, and after that I worked at a telecommunication company uh, in research for 15 years or so. Then I was fed up, and uh, I went to France. And now we just rent out holiday homes do the maintenance and, maintenance and everything, and I have a lot of time uh, on the side. So it's a kind of prayer that, that, that I do. I don't know if that explains enough, so, but... Uh, <laughs> it gives some context, gives some context for technology and other things. <laughs> One quick question. Would you be up for a fun uh, flutter learning experience? No. <laughs> no uh, I tried. <laughs> No, but, but uh, on behalf of the mobile time, uh, the mobi mobile team, it's absolutely impressive uh, what you've done uh, with Food Viewer. Uh, in the, like, I don't know if you if you've looked at all the demos, but like advanced search, Hunger uh, uh, Game, etc., and implementing the API to its fullest, it's something uh, in multilingual, uh, also products, etc. That's. Uh, uh, we, I don't know how to translate that in English. We say un travail d'orfèvre, you know, the people like uh, putting gold on the, on the, on the, so it's uh, very impressive, to be honest. Yeah.